Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Jeffrey Epstein Show. I'm your host, Bobby Capucci, and this is Daily Drop number 196. Tonight, we're going to talk about Prince Andrew, a.k.a. the Joe Exotic of the Windsor family, and the fact that this man still refuses to cooperate with the investigation. Now, we heard from Berman, Attorney General Berman, about Prince Andrew refusing to cooperate. And we've heard from several other sources that Prince Andrew is refusing to cooperate. And now, in this article from the Daily Mail tonight, we're hearing from David Boyes as well, who is saying the same exact thing. Now, if you remember back to Prince Andrew, a.k.a. the Joe Exotic of the Windsor family, coming out and saying he's ready and willing to cooperate with any investigation by appropriate law enforcement agencies. Well, we still have not seen any of that. What we see is him hiding and refusing to come forward and get on the record when it comes to law enforcement because we all know that this man has a lot to hide. It's obvious to anyone who's paying attention that Prince Andrew has not been truthful. He has been telling nothing but lies this whole entire time, in my opinion. And I think it's time for the authorities to try and force his hand because there's no way this man's ever going to cooperate on his own. There's zero chance that's going to happen, especially now with the high profile team he has around him. We know how people like that operate. We know they're not going to give this man the advice to go and speak to the FBI or anybody else. You know why? Because in my opinion, his whole entire team knows that he's guilty. They know that he doesn't have an alibi. They know he doesn't have a credible excuse for where he was that night. And his legal team, their job is to make sure this man gets off. That's it. They don't care about the law. They don't care about survivors. They don't care about anything like that. They care about getting this man off. And any way that they can possibly do that, they will. They know that the roadmap to victory for them does not include Andrew being spoken to by the proper authorities because if if that's the case and they get him into an interrogation room and they start pounding him with questions, I don't think that he has the mental fortitude to hold up to that. I don't think he can keep his story straight enough. I don't think he's intelligent enough for any of that, to be honest with you folks. Everything that we've seen from Joe Exotic of the Windsor family points to him not being that bright of a person. So unless he is compelled to do so, I don't see any way that Prince Andrew comes forward and offers help to this investigation. Zero chance of that happening. I think the only pathway there is to wrap him up in a RICO case and force his hand. It's the only way, the only pathway I see to wrapping Prince Andrew up in this case. Now, let's jump to the article and see what David Boyes has to say about things. So this article is from the Daily Mail. Uh, the, uh, the author of the article is Daniel Bates. Prince Andrew, a.k.a. the Joe Exotic of the Windsor family, has ignored three formal requests to be interviewed under oath about his friendship with serial pedophile Jeffrey Epstein. David Boyes, a lawyer who represents more than a dozen of the U.S. financier pedophile survivors, claimed Andrew has not been prepared to cooperate. Now, we've heard this from several people in the case, and now we're hearing it from David Boyes himself. When David Boyes goes on record and says something like this, and he is basically at the helm of this whole entire thing, well, you know that it's the truth, and you know that that's where we're at in the case, because we've heard it now from several people. It's obvious that Andrew is not going to cooperate. It's obvious that his hands his hand needs to be forced and anything else at this point is just lip service because they're not going to get him they're not going to shame him into speaking to the authorities at this point. That ship has sailed, okay? The shame is over for Andrew. Now it's time to dig in and that's exactly what he's doing. We've made at least four at least, excuse me, we've made at least three formal written attempts sent to his address in London and also to his lawyers in the past few months, said Mr. Boyce, whose clients include Virginia Roberts, the woman who claims Epstein forced her to have sex with the prince on three occasions. And we've heard again, like I 
said a second ago, we've heard from other sources as well, other people involved in the case, that Prince Andrew's team has not responded to these requests. And we've heard that from Berman himself, who is supposedly conducting this investigation. So it's obvious that Prince Andrew has no desire to speak with anybody else when it comes to this case. Andrew, who denies all claims of wrongdoing, has hired Claire Montgomery, one of the UK's leading extradition lawyers. Her former clients include the Chilean military dictator Augusto Pinochet. Asked about her appointment, Mr. Boy said, It's not that I don't appreciate why he wants to lawyer up. I do appreciate that. But if he could step back and look down the road and focus what's on the end game. It's, it's true, right? Because Andrew's really making himself look a lot worse with each passing day. Every day that the Joe Exotic of the Windsor family doesn't come forward and give real answers to these hard questions, he does nothing for himself. He does nothing for his case, and he does nothing for his public image. Because this is the sort of man, and I use the word loosely when we're talking about the Joe Exotic of the Windsor family, but this is the sort of man who has had his whole entire image shattered at this point. Nobody takes him seriously if they ever did. Nobody's ever going to want to hang out with this man again because this sort of action, this is the one thing that you can't recover from. This is the one thing that you cannot recover from. And Prince Andrew has done nothing to help his own cause, especially when you consider all of the evidence that Virginia has brought forward against this man. I have zero doubt in my mind that Virginia Roberts is being completely and utterly 100% honest about what occurred. How can you not listen to her account and, and think that? How can you not read the documents that have been released so far from the courts? How can you not listen to, listen to corroborate, corroborating witnesses who had seen them together? And meanwhile, all Andrew shows up with is, oh, I was at the pizza joint. I was with my daughters. I can't sweat. Those are my fingers. This is, those aren't the sort of alibis that anybody's believing. Now, you mean to tell me as a juror, you would sit there and you'd believe that shit? Opposed to Virginia Roberts coming in with her compelling story and all of the evidence that backs it up? I know where I, where I would fall on the evidence. It's not even a question who's telling the truth, in my opinion, here. And that's why you see Andrew digging in. That's why you see Andrew avoiding these hard questions. If I avoid extradition, do I really want to have this hanging over my head and my family's head for the rest of my life? Do I want my epitaph to be, to be I succeeded in escaping justice? And those are good questions from David Boyce, right? And that's exactly where Andrew's at. If he doesn't come forward in this case and he doesn't really answer the hard questions, nobody's ever going to accept him or take him seriously ever again. Nobody in the general society, right? The regular public. It's, it's progressed beyond that at this point. There's no way that I can see any other out for somebody like Andrew besides coming forward and speaking on what he knows because it's coming. It's only a matter of time, in my opinion, before all of the facts are out in this case. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And we see that with Judge Preska's new ruling. With that ruling, it's going to out a lot of people who were trying to hide in this case. And one thing I can tell you is once those names are out, the digging will begin and the full carpet bombing will ensue. Because now that once those names are out in the public, there are going to be a lot of people very interested. A lot of independent content creators and a lot of independent journalists who are very, very, very interested in what those files contain and they're going to have a field day digging in to what is, uh, what is hidden inside of those sealed documents because it's going to add a lot more context, folks, and a lot more evidence. U.S. Prosecutor Jeffrey Berman, who is heading the ongoing criminal probe into Epstein and his associates, has accused the prince of not helping an FBI investigation, saying the Joe Exotic of the Windsor family has provided zero cooperation. The Duke rejects the claim. However, Mr. Boy said he was confident prosecutors would persist. And again, 
That's a shrewd move on David Boy's part, right? He can't be up there sandbagging the prosecution. He needs the prosecution to work for him. He needs the prosecution to chase down justice. Without the prosecution, well, his, the survivors are never going to get the justice they deserve. So, of course, Mr. Boyce isn't going to go hard against Berman. That's where all of us come in, right? It's up to us to hold Berman to a different standard than his predecessors because there is too much interest in this case for Berman to hide it at this point. He has one choice in my mind. He has one choice, and that is to pursue justice vigorously. Anything less will be met with a complete and utter outcry from the public. And I, I, I would not be shocked if protests are up over this if they don't do the right thing. I'm talking protests in front of his office, protests in front of the Justice Department, wherever it may be. But from the, the, the correspondence I've had with people and from the conversations I've had with people, people have had enough when it comes to this case, and they've had enough of the prosecutors not vigorously pursuing justice. I've got a quite a bit of confidence that they will not let this drop, he added. He also suggested that Joe Exotic of the Windsor family may be getting poor advice. Often, people in his position are surrounded by advisors who sometimes think that they will be more valued if they come across as very aggressive on their principal's behalf, and that can lead to somebody not getting very good advice, he said. Well, that's some game, gamesmanship by David Boys, right? He's going to try and throw a wrench in the situation. He's not going to give them any advice that he thinks is good advice. So he's going to tell, he's going to say publicly, in my opinion, well... I don't think he's getting good advice. Just to try and throw a little wrench in the situation, a little, you know, a little fly in the ointment, that kind of situation, right? To try and sow some seeds of discontent within Prince Andrew's legal team. And these are all moves that you see lawyers getting uh, engaged in all the time. There's all sorts of things that happen, all sorts of gamesmanship when it comes to these big cases. And David Boyes is certainly a master at that. So I think it's shrewd and a good move here for him to try and sow some seeds of discontent. It can be hard to tell your principal that he's got to do something he doesn't want to do. He believes footage of the prints inside Epstein's properties, including the financier, pedophiles, 70 million New York mansion, New York mansion may exist. Whether it continues to exist, has been destroyed, or if it continues to exist and is being concealed is something we're going to have to try to find out, he said. Yeah, look, that's a big, that's a big part of this case, right? It's definitely a big part of this situation, and it is huge in regards to evidence. If there is video and there's surveillance of this uh, of of these people in the house, where is it, and why hasn't the the lawyers for the survivors been given access to it? Who has this evidence if it is if it exists? I hope it's not the same people that were in charge of the evidence from the night of Epstein's so-called uh, suicide, because we know how that ended up, right? We are quite confident both in physical evidence and from interviews, uh, from interviews and su uh, that, excuse me, we are quite confident both in physical evidence and from interviews such surveillance tapes did, did at one point exist, Mr. Boyce, Mr. Boyce said he would be prepared to travel to the UK to interview Andrew. Epstein killed himself, supposedly, in jail last summer after being arrested on multiple child sex charges. A spokesperson for Prince Andrew declined to comment. Yeah, of course he declined to comment. They have nothing to say at this point. They're going to be completely clammed up, not a word to say. It does them no good to come forward and speak to anybody at this point. Never mind speaking to somebody like David Boyce. And you see here, David Boyce is prepared to go over there and interview Prince Andrew personally. And that would be a bad time for Prince Andrew, folks. If he got down in front, if he sat down in front of David Boys, Boys would rip him apart. Boys is a shrewd litigator, a man that knows his business, and Boys would be able to tear up those weak ass alibis that the Joe Exotic of the Windsor family has put forward, and his legal team knows that, and that is why we will not hear 
from the Joe Exotic of the Windsor family of his own will. He must be compelled to do so, and the only way to get that to occur, in my opinion, is to arrest the underlings, to arrest the core four, to arrest Jean-Luc Brunel, to bring them all in, slap them with Rico, and have them flip on each other. And once that happens, and once you have Ghislaine Maxwell in your, in your grips, well, she holds the keys to the kingdom. If you have Ghislaine, Prince Andrew will follow. And it's, it's a fact. She has the goods on him. And if you think that Ghislaine Maxwell is going to keep her mouth shut, you're wrong. We know already from her use of the sun and from uh, her mouthpiece in the media, Laura Goldman, that she's not above firing off veiled threats. Come on, you really believe her emails were hacked? Or was that her letting Indyke and Khan and the other players know, look, this information's out there, and if anything happens to me, I'm going to hit this dead man switch, and all of this information is going to be leaked. You think that's something, a strategy that's above her? In my opinion, that's exactly what, what, what was going on with her speaking out through the sun. She isn't somebody that does things just to do them. She doesn't shoot just from the hip, all right? She takes aim, she waits for her shot, and then she pulls the trigger. And if you can get Ghislaine, if you can bring her in, and you can find a way to prosecute her, if you don't think, out of self-preservation's sake, she's not, she's, she's, going, she's not going to give up the prince, well, you're wrong. She will rat on him as quick as the deal is placed in front of her. Because what she's staring at, the federal, the federal time she's staring at, if she gets wrapped up in Rico in a leadership position, boy, oh boy, we're talking the rest of her life. She will never, ever get out of prison again. So if you don't think that she's ready to rat on every single person, if, if it's her or them, you're, you're being very naive. Because none of these people, Ghislaine included, were built for this life. These people were not built to hold up under pressure like this. Oh sure, they all operate great when things are going well, but when the walls start to close in, and when there's no sweetheart deals left to get, and you're left hanging in the wind all on your own, oh boy, the canary songs will begin. Now the question is, when is Berman going to do his job and bring them all in on those RICO charges? If you'd like to contact me, you can do that at bobbycapucci at protonmail.com. That's B-O-B-B-Y-C-A-P-U-C-C-I at protonmail.com. You can also find me on Twitter at B-O-B-B-Y underscore C-A-P-U-C-C-I. All right, folks, I'll be back tomorrow, and we'll do it all over again.